Hi everybody, all my followers, welcome to another video. Uh, this is today a very quick video for you guys that are interested. I'm going to show you how to do programming uh, using the Maxisys 908P. Uh, and uh, we're going to do um, individual programming. So I'm going to program one module only. Uh, I've done one already, which I'll show you in a minute. And, um, and I'm just going to take you through the process uh, of how to do uh, another one. Um, if you want to do the entire car, obviously it's also an option. Uh, but here we're going to do only one module. And, um, and let's gonna go. So, once you press programming uh, on the main menu, on that uh, icon here on, on the corner, this is your first screen after that. Um, throughout the loading of the programs, um, of the software, um, the Maxi Seals will ask you a couple of questions. Just answer those questions uh, accordingly, and uh, you should, <laughs> you should, sorry about that, and you should land on this screen. On this screen, you have a few things here uh, that they are kind of self-explanatory, except probably the special measures that will take you to here. Uh, you can also do individual programming through here, okay? But I'm going to use another menu, which is that one, programming and coding. Uh, once again, from here, you have these uh, three options at the top. Once again, selective update where you can select different ECUs. So if you want to update two or three modules or whatever, uh, I'm still going to do it differently. We're going to go to control unit list. And for me, I just want to show you the engine, which was the one that I programmed this morning. And you're going to see there, uh, 3rd of May, 2018. That was uh, when it was programmed. So I've done it just this morning. So now we're going to program another one which is going to be the fuel pump. So once you press in the fuel pump, this is your main menu inside the fuel pump um, module. You can see the last time it was programmed, 2007, probably at the factory. And you have a few other uh, informations here, uh, self-explanatory as well. So we want to program, we're going to press this button here. Um, and it brings you to this um, sort of uh, measurements uh, measures plan. So it tells you a little bit of information about the car at the top, and then here it tells you every single step that uh, the tool is going to go through. So program, as you can see, the is a is a higher uh, number. So it's a new software, obviously. So it's going to program. Is the first thing it's going to do. Second thing is going to code. Then it's going to read CKM settings, uh, init uh, initialization by terminal change, update the vehicle order, sorry about that, uh, write CKM settings, and update integration level. Um, now, I'm going to have to, I don't have a battery maintainer, it's one of the things I'm going to have to get hold of very shortly. <clears throat> so I'm going to have to jump the car. Uh, in order to get above 13 volts, uh, you need 13 volts to update, um, otherwise it will not work. And I'm just going to show you, if I press Execute uh, Measures Plan, and I press OK, as you can see, it tells in there that you need 13 volts, and my measured system voltage is 12.20, which you can see at the top as well. Uh, so it tells me to meet these conditions, and then press OK. So I'm going to jump the car, uh, that will, will give us about 13 and a half, 14 or whatever, that should be okay for us to proceed, and then um, and then we're going to carry on. Uh, just one last thing, I don't know if I mentioned it, to do these updates you need to have the J2534 connected by USB. Um, Hotel or Maxisys will not allow you to proceed until you do that anyway. Uh, this will not work through Bluetooth for obvious reasons, so you need to connect um, a USB cable. Okay, so I've jumped the car, and as you can see we have a reading of 13.35 now. It should allow me to just press OK. There we go. 
and is programming. As you can see, it's quite quick. So as the as the module goes offline, obviously it causes a little bit of uh, some warning lights and stuff, but. So it's programmed. Now it's gonna code. Okay, now it tells me to turn the ignition off. Just gonna press the blade and take out. Take the key off. Now it's gonna ask me to turn the ignition back on. Put the key, ignition back on. Turn ignition off. So I'm not pausing or anything through this process so you can see exactly how long it takes. back on and it's completed and now as you scroll this down as you can see all success Okay, and now we're going to end the session, going to go back to programming, uh, okay, I need to press no, so the car actually, uh, so the, the hotel is going to load the data again, um, otherwise it's not going to load the new programming date and stuff for this module, which I, I just want to show you next. This takes a little a little while here while loading this 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 uh, data. I might pause this. Okay, I had to pause. I'm going to wrap it anyway. But uh, over here, it will tell you this. You just press OK. Any control units replace it? No.
Okay, and uh, once again, as I've showed you earlier, that's where you're landing. So programming or coding, that's going to go to control unit. It's going to go to EKS fuel pump, EKPS. That's programming, and as you can see, three or five, two thousand and eighteen with the new software number and it worked just fine um, just in case if you want to uh, see what modules uh, you can update you go to sorry it's not there I'm gonna mean it where is that that uh, it's not here I think it's here There is, so this is the modules that uh, have uh, new versions. Okay. Uh, you can check on initial report, see exactly what the car found. So that's not installed. Uh, it says replace and replace. That's because these two modules they are not uh, installed. Uh, the radio is an aftermarket radio. It's one of those China aftermarket radios. So it doesn't show you. It, it shows you to replace because it doesn't find nothing. Uh, all the other ones um, that shows, obviously the uh, AK. The fuel pump AKPS is already gone from this list because we have already updated it. Um, and yeah. So I know it was nothing special. It was just a quick video. Show you um, how you do programming uh, with the MS908P. Individual programming. Uh, if it's a complete uh, car programming, the principle is the same. Obviously it's going to take much longer. Um, and I would not probably I would not do it by jumping the car um, I would probably get um, a battery maintainer which I really need to get one anyway so I need to get hold of one and um, to do this sort of stuff uh, but yeah guys nothing special but I hope I hope there's some information here that uh, you can uh, I don't know that can help you hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions, any comments, please put them below. And like always, thank you so much for watching.